nuclear reactor control and operation control of the nuclear plant part 3 nuclear reactor control and operation several reactivity control devices have been developed and adapted to the can do reactors these can be grouped as follows first absorbers solid or liquid movable neutron absorbers can be inserted or withdrawn from the reactor and are particularly effective for fast reactivity and spatial flux control second boosters boosters are rods containing enriched fissile materials they can be used for poison override control third poison moderator small quantities of neutron absorber such as boron can be mixed with the moderator to provide large compensating reactivity control this is of particular utility during reactor startup with fresh fuel fourth miscellaneous these control systems involve varying the moderator level selective fuel bundle shuffling and varying the coolant density in a boiling reactor request it is hope that this session is going to be useful to you please press like please subscribe some of the control devices some of the control devices are often incorporated into a control system where they serve a specific function only this may include shut off functions and zone control functions location of some of these devices is shown in the figure shown in next slide plan view of reactor showing location of reactor core control devices we are having vertical flux monitor 26 numbers of them they are located here then we are having adjuster 21 number of them you can see them here 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 then we are having shut off rod 28 numbers of them they are distributed throughout the reactor core liquid zone controller five number of them you can see them here 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 six numbers of them solid control absorber four number of them you can see them here 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 then you are having view port two number of them view port one number is here and the other number is here detail of a shut off rod a detail of the shut off rod for the can do bruce is shown in the attached figure this is 
इज द लिटिल बिगर डायग्राम लेट अस पे पार्टिकुलर अटेंशन टू द शट ऑफ रॉड एलिमेंट हियर इज द शट ऑफ रॉड एलिमेंट control of the overall nuclear plant in the discussion up till now we have emphasized primarily the role of physical processes in the reactor core and the associated core instruments the core however is but one element of a nuclear power plant system which includes among other things a turbine generator boilers and condensers this requires not only the collection of many system variables but also their analysis a dual computer system is and variably used for this purpose figure in next slide shows a general block diagram representation here we know particularly the complex interrelationship between the reactor core and the associated system components diagrammatical representation of a reactor control system central dispatcher demand signal is going into the unit power regulator generator load signal is going into the unit power regulator unit power regulator output signal is going to the turbine governor boiler pressure controller is receiving boiler pressure and steam flow signal from the boiler unit power regulator here we are having the unit power regulator boiler pressure controller the boiler pressure controller output signal is going to the demand power routine demand power routine demand power routine is giving command to reactor regulating program power measurement power measurements unit is receiving signal from ion chambers hill bond and core flux detectors temperature and flow signal from the coolant reactor output of the reactor regulating program is going to the liquid zone control valves 
Of course, the command is going to the set of rocks. It is going to the control absorbers. It is going to the boosters. Control of the overall nuclear plant. This feature is further illustrated in figure in the next slide which shows a typical control room instrumentation layout for a can-do reactor. There is a separate console for each specialized operation. Typical control panel layout. The same picture but little bigger in the size. Now we shall discuss separate consoles. First is fueling machine and fuel handling control console. Next are containment console, shutdown system number 2, emergency cold cooling console, shutdown system number 1 console. Next is Nuclear Island Auxiliaries Moderator and Reactor Miscellaneous Systems Annunciations Reactor Regulating System Next we are having Heat Transport System Console Boiler system console, turbine system console, generator console and we are having station electrical services console, miscellaneous auxiliary systems console. Request, it is hoped that this session was useful to you. Please press like. Please subscribe.